party leaders and whips of the United States House of Representatives, also known as floor leaders, are elected by their respective parties in a closed-door caucus by secret ballot, with the Democrats holding a majority of seats and the Republicans holding a minority. The current leaders are Majority Leader Steny Hoyer, Majority Whip Jim Clyburn, Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy and Minority Whip Steve Scalise. Unlike the Senate Majority Leader, the House Majority Leader is the second-highest-ranking member of his or her party's House Caucus. Behind the Speaker of the House, the Majority Leader's actual duties and prominence vary depending on the Speaker's power and style. Typically, the Speaker does not participate in debate and rarely votes on the floor. In some cases, Majority Leaders have been more influential than the Speaker. Notably, Tom DeLay was more prominent than Speaker Dennis Hastert. In addition, Speaker Newt Gingrich delegated to Dick Army an unprecedented level of authority over scheduling legislation on the House floor. The current minority leader, Kevin McCarthy, serves as floor leader of the opposition party. Unlike the majority leader, the minority leader is on the ballot for Speaker of the House during the convening of the Congress. If the minority leader's party takes control of the House, and the party officers are all re-elected to their seats. The minority leader is usually the party's top choice for speaker for the next Congress, while the minority whip is typically in line to become majority leader. The minority leader usually meets with the majority leader and the speaker to discuss agreements on controversial issues. The speaker, majority leader, minority leader, Majority Whip and Minority Whip all receive special office suites in the United States Capitol. The floor leaders and whips of each party are elected by their respective parties in a closed-door caucus by secret ballot. The speaker presumptive is assumed to be the incoming speaker, but he or she has not been formally selected to be nominated for speaker by the majority parties. Caucus After this period, the speaker designate is also chosen in a closed door session by the largest caucus although they are formally installed in their position by a public vote when Congress reconvenes. Like the Speaker of the House, the minority leaders are typically experienced lawmakers when they win election to this position. When Nancy Pelosi, DCA, became minority leader in the 108th Congress, she had served in the House nearly 20 years and had served as Minority Whip in the 107th Congress. When her predecessor, Dick Jeffart, D. Mo, became Minority Leader in the 104th House, he had been in the House for almost 20 years, had served as Chairman of the Democratic Caucus for four years, had been a 1988 presidential candidate, and had been Majority Leader from June 1989 until Republicans captured control of the House in Thay. November 1994 elections. Jeff Art's predecessor in the minority leadership position was Robert Michel, R. Yale, who became GOP leader in 1981 after spending 24 years in the House. Michel's predecessor, Republican John Rhodes of Arizona, was elected minority leader in 1973 after 20 years of House service. By contrast, Party leaders of the United States Senate have often ascended to their position despite relatively few years of experience in that chamber, such as Lyndon B. Johnson, William F. Noland, Tom Daschle, and Bill Frist. Former House Majority Leader Eric Cantor also had a comparatively quick rise to the post and was the youngest House Majority Leader in American history. The House Majority Leader's duties vary, depending upon the political makeup of the Majority Caucus. In several recent sessions of Congress, with the notable exception of the Pelosi speakership, the majority leader has been primarily responsible for scheduling the House floor's legislative calendar and direct management for all House committees. One statutory duty, per 19 U.S.C. Section 2191 trade agreement must be introduced in the House by the majority leader of the House, before 1899. The majority party floor leader had traditionally been the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, the most powerful committee in the House, as it generates the bills of revenue specified in the Constitution as the House's unique power.
The office of majority leader was created in 1899 and first occupied by Sereno Payne. Speaker David B. Henderson created the position to establish a party leader on the House floor separate from Thay. Speaker. As the role of Speaker had become more prominent and the size of the House had grown from 105 at the beginning of the century to 356, starting with Republican Nicholas Longworth in 1925 and continued through the Democrats' control of the House from 1931 to 1995, save for Republican majorities in 1947 to 49 and 1953 to 55. All majority leaders have directly ascended to the speakership brought upon by the retirement of the incumbent. T.